Good morning, welcome to Casa Texpina. We're on build day number 79. As you can see, the guys are already mixing mortar, it looks like. They've got lots and lots of sand. Still working on getting the sand out of the street. Didn't get quite get it all done yesterday, and we had a little bit of rain, so some of it came back down uh, into, the, into the street. Our subdivision is very particular about no construction materials in the, uh, in the gutter or out into the street so people can pass by without issue. Um, so I try to make sure that the, <laughs> I'm not one of the problems. Um, today it looks like we're gonna continue with plaster coating, uh, more hollow block up on top, and they're probably gonna start, looks like, with uh, um, concrete. Uh, continuing with the roof beams and um, columns that they were finishing up yesterday as we closed business. Well, um, I think that's pretty much what everybody is expecting at the moment. Um, it is a br another bright, beautiful Sunday, oh, sorry, Sunday, a sunny day. It is bright, beautiful, sunny day um, here in Pampanga. Uh, so let's get started. That we've got um, a couple of guys. I'm going to continue with the concrete this morning. Matter of fact, look at that. We've got concrete coming in already uh, to pay, pour some more roof beams. Um, once they get these poured this morning, they're going to continue forming um, some more and work on them this afternoon. Um, <clears throat> over here on the side, Mr. Jojo is working. Uh, plaster coat so he's getting uh, his job site in order to where he can start working and again here in the back still moving sand out of the street and mixing concrete I was under the impression it was going to be mortar but it looks like it is concrete let's go take a look <clears throat> Ooh, looks a little soupy. <laughs> Perfect for y'all? Yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, and mortar. Mm, okay. All right, I'm gonna go take a look upstairs. See how things are progressing. We are about mid-morning, almost lunchtime. Oh, oh, that stairs are steep. All right, we're continuing up, looks like, until uh, the 10th course of hollow block. As you can see, some of these, we are up, let's see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He is on course number nine. So the bond beam, thank you to Gary for pointing out that the rebar between three, six, nine is called a bond beam. I'm used to calling these tie rods, and yeah, as a whole, it is a bond beam. You're correct. Um, yeah, so they put the tie rod on for the bond beam. Let's see if I counted that right. Three, six, seven, eight. So they did eight, and then they're going to put another, the other two courses up uh, above that. We're gonna have a door here gonna be a little short. It's not the normal six foot eight It's gonna be a little lower because this door does do a step down into the attic space So it's not like you're gonna bang your head going into the into the attic All right, so this morning They poured the remainder of the concrete from what was left over yesterday Where they finished just before the column here and went went around this way and let it slope off. So they are doing like how I was asking where we do a slope uh, for the cold joint as opposed to the straight up and down for the cold joint. Okay, so they're prepping more forms that they'll complete this afternoon down there as well as upstairs for some of the columns. And these guys are busy adding height to our 
uh, adding height to our wall here for the attic. This is going to be a large media room, a theater room. The idea is to have a uh, large projector screen here with the uh, projector on the ceiling and a nice couch uh, love seat kind of thing uh, around this area here in the front. All right, then back on this side we'll have maybe a, a pool table or um, a card table and then maybe a mini bar or something over here I'm not sure we're just kind of fuddling around this is gonna be a man cave game room kind of thing and of course you got to have a bathroom rather than go all the way back down the stairs so that's where folks are at up here this morning all right back around to the front of the house mr. Jojo is working on plaster coating this section of the wall here just before the corner and underneath and around the bay window moving along pretty well today all right we'll come back and catch him a little later this afternoon right. underneath the attic floor slab they are still pulling off the forms from the sides the sides of the columns looking good concrete looks great no honeycombs no cracks and leaving the jacks underneath for the additional support uh, for the full 21 days 28 days is normal um, they may leave it two to three additional weeks so we'll see uh, I believe the, the engineer mentioned three weeks which would put it at 21 days uh, that should be enough uh, for it to support the up the upstairs load all right we've got a couple guys here from a air conditioning company that are going to give us a look around they're going to do a survey and going to give us a quote um, within the next couple days about how many and uh, how much uh, for air conditioning units for within the house um, these guys are actually our third um, air conditioning specialist that's been out to take a look at we want to make sure you get multiple quotes as you're going through these from different manufacturers, different um, businesses. So we're gonna take a look around. This is the office. I believe we're asking for a one horsepower unit here, or one and a half horsepower unit here. Back into the master suite. And they're gonna measure around to see how large it needs to be. To be. So the guys are measuring length and width to get the uh, area. So they're looking for exact area. They're gonna measure each room, length and width, and then asking about the ceiling height so they can judge if the uh, air condition size is appropriate for that area. So it's taking a look inside bedroom three. When they were looking at the um, when they were looking back here at the kitchen and living room area they suggested two and a half horsepower each which is pretty close to being in line with what the other two have told us um get back over three yes so they're thinking one horsepower here because it is kind of small Now they're taking a look at bedroom two. And again, they're gonna cut and get the square measurement and give a calculation based on the square measurements. Mm -mm. So 1.5 on each. Yeah, I would, I would, oh, 1.0 there, 1.5 here. Okay. Then coming into the dirty kitchen. One. So just taking a look at rough look at the size, he's already suggesting a one horsepower. Got several different manufacturers to pick from. So Daikin, Colon, LG. Thank you. 
So she's looking at a couple different manufacturers and they're asking which ones we want the quotes for. Uh, she said she wants hers for Carrier, LG, and Colon. So, upstairs he's suggesting if we're going to go with the split units like we do the rest of the house, two, two horsepower units. Okay. So, is two units, two, two units, two horsepower each. Two units, two HP. Two units, two HP. Okay. Okay. So, we have a Okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming out. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's a long ways. Yes, thank you. Two hours. Oh, two hours. Wow. It's okay. Hang on, Kayo. All right, so the uh, aircon guys are uh, just left. Uh, we went around to each of the rooms. Um, they gave us quotes uh, it's, right now for today they just gave us quotes on what sizes were needed for each room and they should be able um, to deliver it tomorrow yes they should be able to deliver the uh, quotation uh, tomorrow via email uh, we did ask for four different types of um, or four different manufacturers um, of those I believe we're looking at uh, they're all top they're all top line for uh, inverter style um, split unit ACs so we're looking at carrier uh, colon uh, Daikin which is out of Japan and, and the LG. other one is LG um, so of those four um, we're gonna take a look um, and then combine these or compare actually not combine but compare these um, quotations with the other two that we've uh, we're receiving uh, from other vendors um, so, like I mentioned before, we walked in with the the into the house with the guys. Um, you have to make sure you get more than one quote, and definitely more than one manufacturer uh, if you're looking for anything. If you're like looking at doors, if you're looking at um, hardware, if you're looking at tiles, look at different places, look at uh, different manufacturers, uh, compare price and quality. Uh, don't go, don't just go with the brand and uh, suggestion that is presented to you in the design. All right, so um, once we get that quotation in tomorrow, um, I'll, I'll make sure to add it into the uh, video at that point.
back up on top. Taking a look, they're still making forms for the columns. Excuse me, Paul. Thank you. Okay, this is the door for our um, access to the storage part of the attic. Notice it is quite a bit shorter. It is not the standard six foot eight. All right, back after checking. Um, yes, the height is a going to be a six foot door. So it's a little shorter than normal. And like I said, the idea is because going from here into the attic space, the storage part of the attic space, um, it is immediately a step down. So right here, I do a, a, a probably a good um, eight, eight inch step down. So it's not like I'm gonna bang my head going into the attic. Um, this is supposed to swing into the attic and a step down to go around to it. Um, as the rest of it, we're up to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's the top row of uh, hollow block. All right, after checking with the, uh, the foreman, yes, this piece of wood will come out later. They'll put in the frame and fill in all of it with uh, mortar. And there are there is two pieces of rebar going through there as part of the bond beam um, that will help keep those uh, hollow block from falling into the door frame. Um, also, this is the top row of hollow block, so the only thing that's going to be connecting here will not actually rest on this hollow block. It'll be from the uh, roof from the roof ridge. The purlins and the angle iron will be coming down this way uh, to help form the roof on the back slope of the house. All right, they're still continuing with hollow block and the rest of the way around. And I'm going to get out of their way. Jojo finished up with the plaster coat around the bay window of bedroom number two. All right, they're still working on pouring some of the rest of the roof beams along the top. That was what that uh, little 30 second um, time lapse was. While they were doing that, they're also pouring uh, these columns up here on the uh, attic floor as well. So I was watching that while the video was watching these guys down here. Uh, engineer is also on site, um, so I'll have a discussion with him here shortly. Um, I believe one of the things he's looking at next is the, uh, the staircase uh, leading from the ground floor up to the attic floor. All right, it's Yabba Dabba Doo time again. That means the guys have already gone. I actually had to explain that to somebody today. They said, what's Yabba Dabba do time? Is that something specific to the Philippines? And I was like, no, don't you remember watching um, Fred Flintstone, watching the Flintstones when you were a kid? As soon as the, the cartoon would do its intro, Flintstone would get off of work, they'd blow the horn and he'd go running down the, sliding down the side of the dinosaur, down the tail, up, and right into his car and beat feet and run, right? Because it was the end of the work day. Well, as he did, as he was going down the, the dinosaur tail, he's like, yabba dabba do. So there's the yabba dabba do time. Um, wanted to be able to do a little uh, something additional today. I wanted to add in some uh, shout outs. We've had some, uh, a, a lot of great comments and um, attaboys uh, coming in from all over the place so today I'm gonna do some shout outs to uh, the some of my international subscribers I've had some come in from uh, Canada uh, Phil can JB uh, have one as far as Kuwait uh, RD Chang 
uh, Serge Crispino and Wally Trink from Australia, uh, Wilco from the Netherlands, uh, friend of ours Mary Tess from Guam, and BJ Owens, good, uh, former co-worker of mine in uh, Okinawa. Uh, thank you guys for watching, thanks for subscribing, definitely keep bringing in the comments, um, getting some good comments and tips and points along the way. Uh, definitely appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Um, today we got the uh, a couple more roof beams uh, poured this afternoon. That was what was on the uh, time lapse that you just saw, and um, the walls for the uh, attic floor are almost up to height. Um, majority of them are up to the the ten, tenth uh, course of hollow block. The next thing to go on is going to be a roof beam across the top. Uh, that top uh, piece of rebar going around. Um, you notice I did mention about the door, it's a little shorter than normal. And then some more plaster coating was done. Um, so that wraps up pretty much most of today. Uh, they've got some other things they're going to start focusing on tomorrow and I'll clue you guys in on those uh, tomorrow morning. So until then, if you like today's video, please give us a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of these videos, hit the Costa Texpina star right over here and you'll be subscribed. Hit the bell icon just below the view screen and you'll be notified of our next video upload for your viewing pleasure. Um, share with your friends, let them know what they're missing. Let them know what you've been watching. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great afternoon and God bless. Thank you for watching. If you liked today's video, please hit like, subscribe, and hit the little bell icon to be notified when our next video becomes available.